Into tricks or treats, the Georgia College and State University 5th Annual Halloween on the Hill is tomorrow. And joining us to talk about the spooky fun that you can enjoy is the head coach of the baseball team, Tom Cardi. So good morning to you, Tom. Good morning. So how are you? I mean, it's a, it's, well. it's a good time of the year, and this is the 5th Annual Halloween on the Hill. So kind of talk to me about that. Well, we started it five years ago. Had an uh, idea of putting a community engagement project together with our baseball players involved mm -hmm. and felt like Halloween was a good time of year to do it. Um, always try to coordinate any of our community engagement uh, like we do Miracle League and things like that with a baseball theme. So uh, kind of stole the idea, saw some <laughs> other programs throughout the country that have done some things yeah. where their uh, players dress up in character and uh, we play a little one inning scrimmage. and. Um, then also try to coordinate with our uh, university health uh, department to provide snacks that uh, you know are less sugar free. You know mm -hmm. some sugar free snacks and things so like that. So you're still able to get you know Promote the some treats, healthy. right? Yeah, yeah, healthy treats. Healthy treats, exactly. <laughs> so about how many people do you expect to come out, or how many people have come out? You know, over the years, how has it grown? Well, with uh, we started out probably about 30 or 40 people would come. That includes parents with their children. Uh, last year, I think we cracked the 100 mark, and uh, we try to build in for, you know, 200. So uh, we'll start at 530 uh, tomorrow evening, get um, a little, some festivities going. We have games. Uh, Rachel Pope, our university health uh, educator, she uh -huh. puts some games on, and some other students help her um, do um, bobbin for apples, paint, face painting, and then we have um, uh, blow up uh, uh, activities, activities, you know, the, the big blow up. Uh, so we can expect games, treats, healthy treats, all that fun. Can we expect ghosts, goblins, maybe something? They, they can, they can <laughs> pop vampires. up. They can pop up. I, I learned a lesson a few years ago. I, <laughs> I scared my own children when I dressed up, so I don't dress up anymore. <laughs> but uh, our, our players will be out there and, and others will be dressed up. And uh, we try to give them some fun, and then we play our game, and then we have a, a Halloween uh, costume contest. Oh, okay, uh, that's we, interesting. Is yeah. that new or? No, we've done it every year. It's uh, the incentive for my players to be creative with mm -hmm. their uh, uh, choice of, of uh, costume. So we let all the young children that are um, still there as we close out around 7 o'clock and bring them onto our field, and then they kind of, uh, by uh, the noise meter, <laughs> And make a lot of noise for our, our players to go one by one and see who has the best costume according to our, our audience. So as we wrap up, this is our this is a free event for you all for that yes. y'all are putting yes, on, right? Yes. All right. Well we look forward to hearing more about it, okay? Great. All right. Well if you'd like to join in on the fun, then the Georgia College's John well, it will it will be at the Georgia College's John Kurtz Field located off the four forty one bypass. The event is tomorrow at 5.30 p.m. And we'll put all this information for you on our website. That's 41NBC.com.